I'm outside in the woods and I want to use my five senses and describe my observations. So what five senses am I using? I'm using sight, that's one. I'm using hearing, that's another. Scent, touch, and taste. Now, in science, we don't often use our sense of taste, so I won't be using my sense of taste today. I don't know, I'm not gonna eat these plants out here, so I'm not gonna use my sense of taste but I can absolutely use my sense of smell. <sighs> smells fresh out. What do I mean by that? What do I mean it smells fresh? I can smell the pine trees. I don't really smell any flowers. I smell the wetness in the air. You know how sometimes you can smell rain and water? I can smell that, that wetness. There's a just a little tiny bit of smoke. I don't think that's from a wildfire or a prescribed burn. It's probably somebody either burning in their yard or doing something else like that. So I can smell some things. I can smell fresh air. It's clean. Pine. The moisture in the air. I can smell the wet dirt below me on the ground. Not strong. I can smell it. And I can smell a tiny little bit of smoke. What do I hear? I can hear traffic on the road over there. There's a truck passing by right now. I also hear lots of insects out in the trees. You can hear them buzzing in the background. I hear birds chirping and tweeting in the distance. There's no wind, the air's not moving, so I don't hear the sound of wind in the trees. Mainly it's the insects and that traffic. It's pretty quiet. What do I see? Well, What do I see? Well, I can see lots of pine trees, these tall, straight trees with a, a smooth trunk and no branches in the middle here. Their branches are all up really high. So I see those pine trees, lots of those. And then down below, closer to my level, I can see saw palmetto, a lot of saw palmetto. Saw palmetto is this, this low plant right here that kind of looks like a, a, a palm tree a little bit, but it's more of a bush. Those only grow if I put my arm out and I go straight across. You can see how those saw palmetto just are right there at that level. On the ground, I can see some other bushes. Here, let me flip you around. No, I can't flip you around. On the ground, there's some other bushes. So I see bushes, saw palmetto, and pine. And there's nothing in that middle, there's nothing in the middle there between the saw palmetto and the tops of the pine trees. That's what I see. So what do I see? What do I smell? What do I hear? What do I feel? The ground underfoot, I'm walking on pine needles and soft sand. I can, I can feel the branches of the saw palmetto I can touch this pine tree and feel its bark. And I can feel that pitch, that sap that's on the side of the pine tree. See that pitch right there? All that sap that's dripping down? That's from some kind of an injury and that pine tree is trying to protect itself. And it's sticky now, it feels like syrup. Really sticky syrup. And then I feel the moisture of the air on my skin. I can feel the humidity. So I feel humidity. I can feel the, the leaves, the branches, the trees. I can feel the pine needles under my foot. I hear insects, birds, traffic, no wind. I don't hear wind. I can smell humidity. I can smell the dirt. I can smell the pine. I can smell a little bit of smoke. 
Now, again, I'm not going to taste anything. So those are all things that I see and hear, smell and touch out here in the woods. Now, as I'm walking, I can see lots of these fern. There's pine cones on the ground. See the pine needles on the ground. I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna use my five senses to observe. I'm gonna talk about what I see, what I hear, what I smell, what I touch. I never use the sense of taste in science, so I'm not gonna be tasting anything out here. What do I see? Well, I see behind me, way in the distance, there's a line of pine trees, and then all the way through the rest of this is just grass. I see lots of grass out there. Now, I think there's water down there, and I think there's water there because it's summertime in Florida and it rains a lot. So I'm gonna step over there in a little bit and see if I don't see some water. See a lot of those grasses, a lot of plants growing out there. And I can see that it's very flat, very flat. There's one little dome of bushes out in the middle there, but the rest of this field, and it looks like a big circle. So I would say that this is a large circle, circular field filled with grass. Oh yeah, I can see the water down there. That's for sure, there's water underneath me here. Maybe later we'll step out into that water and see what that's like. So grass, water, flat, trees in the distance. That's what I see, what do I hear? I hear insects. I hear birds chirping in the distance. The bullfrog out there someplace. I think he's in those bushes out in the middle, that little hill of bushes out there. Oh, something larger over here. There's, I just heard the flapping of wings and I can see there's a bird. There we go. Hawk. Did you see that hawk? Did I manage to catch that? A hawk just flew up out of that that marsh and he's now up on the branch of that tree so I'm in a marsh and it's a marsh because a marsh is made up of grass that's wet either some of the year or most of the year part of the year or all of the year this particular marsh is out in the middle would be wet most of the year right now it's starting to rain again so this is going to start filling up if I come back later in the summer there'd be even more water in this mar in this marsh what I see, what I hear, what I see. Ooh, there's another hawk right up here. There's two right up in this tree. Don't know if you can see him on this camera. Just flew off. Lots of hawks. Um, what do I smell? N not much. We're in an open field. There's a gentle breeze out here, just a light breeze, so I can feel that. I can feel the air moving against my skin. That's a light breeze. It's very fresh, it's very clean. I don't really smell much else. A little bit of a, there's a little bit of a, a, a what I would describe as a plant smell, and I don't know how to put that into words, but. Not quite floral, but I can smell the plants. Just a tiny little hint of smoke. Tiny little hint of smoke. I don't think it's a wildfire, forest fire, or anything like that. I think it's something that's going on someplace else. And just a tiny little bit of smoke. So that's, those are my five senses. Again, I'm not going to taste anything. That's what I observe. And I want to make sure that I record that. Now, right now, I'm recording that literally on my phone so I have now recorded those observations. I also have a notebook in my backpack that I'm going to take up, take out, and I'm gonna record each of those observations of my senses in a little bit. I'm gonna to get to a picnic table where I can sit down and record all of those observations about what I see, smell, touch, and hear in each of these different areas. This area is different than the last area, and we'll talk about those similarities and differences what and what how that works in a little bit
So for the past few minutes uh, since I got to the top of the uh, platform, what I've been doing is uh, resting. And more than resting, I've been engaging in what we call at school a sensory solo. Um, a sensory solo is exactly what it sounds like. I'm by myself and I'm using my senses to observe what's around me. Now, I want you to imagine there being about uh, 10 to 12 kids, plus a teacher, plus a chaperone up here on the top of the platform on a field trip. When we bring students up here, they will engage in a sensory solo. Everybody finds a spot to sit, to stand, and we just remain silent for about five minutes, really as long as, as the students, depending on the group, can handle just sitting still and being quiet out here. It'll be tougher for some than others. Sensory solo, it's a great way to experience nature. We just sit and we experience nature using our senses. What do I see? What do I hear? There's an airplane over in the distance there, but I hear lots of birds, lots of insects. What do I smell? What do I feel? I feel the breeze. I feel the humidity. I can feel the hardness of the wood that I'm sitting on. I feel the heat of the sun. And I just take it all in. I just absorb. When those planes aren't flying overhead, you only have the sound of nature. There's no, there are no cars in the background. There are no air conditioning condensers running on the houses next door. There's no traffic sounds. There's no people talking. You just have nature. Crew is a great place to come and experience that. 60,000 acres of, reserve, of preserved land. Um, it is beautiful. So that's what I've been doing since, the, since I got up here just the past few minutes. Engaging, engaging in sensory solo. I think I've discovered the mystery of the scent of smoke. Over in the distance there, I don't think the camera will pick it up. But way off in the distance, way across the, the swamp, on the other side of the tree line, it looks like there's a pillar of smoke in the distance. I'm thinking it's probably either a farm field or maybe some land that somebody's developing, building houses on and they're clearing it. But I can see a column of smoke rising in the distance there and that's where I'm getting that very very faint scent of smoke from the wind is blowing in this direction and carrying that scent over here so solve the mystery always use your senses uh, when you're out in nature be interesting to see what you find when you're out there hey thanks for joining me out at crew today I'll see you on the trail